morning. I am Dr. Shamuli Shaha, Senior Lecturer, Department of Microbiology, Bhushundharad Din Medical College. Today, I will discuss about the pathogenesis and host defense. Before going through the pathogenesis of a bacteria, I will discuss about some definition. What is pathogen? A microorganism that is capable of causing disease. What is non-pathogen? A microorganism that does not cause any kind of disease. What is pathogenesis? The origin of the disease and chain of events that leads to the disease. What is pathogenicity? The capability of an organism to produce disease. Now, what is toxigenicity? The degree of to which an organism is able to elicit toxic syndrome. Now, opportunistic pathogen are those that really, if ever, causes disease in immunocompetent people, but can cause a serious infection in case of immunocompromised patient. What is virulence? Is a quantitative measure of pathogenicity and is measured by the number of organism required to cause disease. Now, what is infectious dose? The number of organism required to cause disease, it varies greatly among the pathogenic bacteria. For example, Shigella, Salmonella both causes diarrhea by infecting the gastrointestinal tract. But the infectious dose of the Shigella is less than 100, whereas the infectious dose of the Salmonella approximately 1 lakh. LD50, the number of organism required to kill 50% host. LD means lethal dose. What is ID50? ID means infectious dose. Number of organism required to cause infection in 50% host population. Now, virulence factor. What is virulence factor? That's I discuss in previous slide. Attachment to the host cell. Pili, capsule and glycocalyx. Neisseria gonorrhoeae contain pili through which it attaches with the host cell. Capsule containing microorganism Haemophilus influenzae and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Invasion of the host cell and tissue by breaking mucous membrane Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Neisseria gonorrhoeae break the mucous membrane of the epithelium and causes disease. On the other side, Shigella, it can infect the intact mucous membrane. Antiphagocytic factor like capsule and protein A. There are some enzyme responsible for the production of the disease like tissue degrading enzyme, lecithinase, hyaluronidase, immunoglobulin A1 protease. There are some toxin which causes disease like exotoxin and endotoxin. Exotoxin produced by enterotoxin, botulinum toxin, cholera toxin, shigella toxin and endotoxin produced by the cell wall of the lipopolysaccharide of the gram negative bacteria and causes endotoxic shock. There are some other virulence factor like M protein of the streptococcus interfering with the ingestion of the phagocytosis. Generalized sequence of the stage of the infection. Transmission from the external source into the portal of the entry. Then evasion of the primary host defense such as skin or stomach. Then adherence to the mucous membrane usually by bacterial pili. Colonization of the bacteria at the site of adherence ultimately produce disease symptom by production of toxin. Here the picture, the entry into the host with the invasion of the host primary defense. Prim wh which one are primary defense? Like skin, direct contact, cut, vector-borne transmission 
occur. Then addition of the microorganism to the host cell by pili capsule then invasion of the host then causes propagation of the organism then one microorganism produce multiple microorganism ultimately causes damage to the host cell by bacterial toxin or immune response of the host here the bacteria produce toxin and damage the immune system then progress or resolution of the disease if causes progression then multiplication of the bacteria or it causes resolution by host immuno response or antimicrobial therapy again the exposure to the pathogen then adherence to the skin and mucosa then invasion through the epithelium then it causes colonization and overgrowth then it causes toxicity toxic effect may causes local or systemic effect and invasiveness then further growth of the origin or the distant site and ultimately causes tissue damage host immune response both non specific and specific during adhesion colonization and disease production and progression and resolution of the disease what are the determinant of the bacterial pathogens number 1 transmission number 2 adherence to the cell surfaces number 3 invasion inflammation and intracellular survival and number 4 toxin production thank you for today's session rest of the session i will discuss about my next lecture